There's no better way for civilians to get behind a war effort than to cut down spending to save materials to buy war savings bonds. Nearly 10 million Americans are now buying war bonds. War isn't cheap, especially when it comes to waging it across the globe. The Second World War required a huge undertaking of people and machinery at an incredible cost. One of the best ways to fund the war effort was through war bonds. But what exactly were they, and how did they work? In this video, we explain war bonds during World War II. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. For the United States, World War II would cost around $300 billion over the course of the war. This is a huge amount considering the US only entered the war for the last four years. But how could the government possibly afford this? Initially, taxes were increased across the board, as well as a victory tax of 5% being pushed onto the population. But this still wasn't enough. Looking at the successful example of World War I, the US government decided to opt for war bonds. Essentially, these were bonds that the public could purchase for 75% of the face value. For example, a $100 war bond could be purchased for $75. The bond would then mature after 10 years, where the investor could redeem the bond for the full $100. The rate of return wasn't great, but it was a stable investment in uncertain times and likely prevented inflation. Purchasing these bonds could be done with cash at various places, but people could also put aside set amounts from their pay through their employers. The bonds were available in denominations of $25 right up to $1,000. Another way was the purchase of a stamp for 10 cents. These stamps could be placed in an album and once full, it could be redeemed for a bond. War bonds were originally available in May 1941, but wouldn't see much interest till after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. This is where advertising campaigns began in an effort to drum up support from the general population. The first big war drive utilising celebrities and war heroes took place in 1942, and all up, there would be eight drives, with the last in late 1945. Posters became a popular way to push the message home. Advertisements in cinemas prior to a movie were also a regular sight. Many towns and cities were encouraged to compete against others to see who could raise the most money. By war's end, 85 million Americans had purchased war bonds. Impressive considering the population at the time was only 131 million. These people purchased $185 billion worth, which equates to over $2,000 per person. War bonds were successful for the US, but also for many other countries who utilised them, a smart way to fund a very expensive war. What do you think about war bonds? Do you think it was a great way to fund the war effort? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.